Betty White seems to have outlasted the test of time in Hollywood and at 95 years old is still a viable and beloved star in Tinseltown. It seems that her humor is the real secret to a happy and successful life, as it served her well. She's never been the most vocal about politics as she's been wise enough to keep her presidential preferences to herself throughout the years, as a person in her public position. White has always cut to the chase, making her loved and respected among many. Now, we have some breaking news about this bright star, who at the ripe age of 95 surprised us all. Perhaps Betty White's secret to success that other stars should learn from was to be opinionated and witty without being divisive. She certainly mastered that skill throughout her career but recently, something really disturbing has changed. We saw this in full effect when she was recently face to face with news anchor Katie Cork who pulled her typical trick of trying to get the star to trash President Trump. Cork quickly realized she wasn't talking to the typical famous millennial idiot when White came back with an unexpected response to her bait, shocking viewers who thought they knew her. This feisty elderly actress answered with a really sad response to Cork's nasty, divisive questioning to set her up. What's even sadder? is what and how the accomplished journalist said to the actress. Opposing Views reports, underscore on her 95th birthday, Betty White spoke to Yahoo News' Katie Cork. In the interview, the pair covered a wide variety of topics. When asked about the current state of our country, White's comments surprised many, video below. Underscore, underscore when the conversation turned to politics. It seemed as though Cork may have been looking for White's thoughts on President Trump. However, White stayed away from commenting specifically on the new president, and instead offered a positive take on things. Underscore, underscore the world is in a very interesting place right now, Cork said. What do you think about the state of our country and how divided it seems to be? Underscore, underscore White responded, it's very divided, and we're not in the best place we've ever been. I think that's the time to buckle down and really work positively as much as you can instead of just saying, this is terrible. He's terrible. Underscore, underscore she continued, just think, alright, there's nothing I can do about that right now but I can do the best in my little circle. So if I do that, maybe you'll do your best and we'll get through this. Underscore, underscore White says she believes people should start thinking more positively because negativity leads to a toxic environment. Underscore, underscore so many people think negatively it's like, oh, you know what I hate. Instead of alright, I'll get through this, the 95 year old said. Then all of a sudden you start lifting up a little bit, but if you start with you know what I hate, you're gonna go right down the tubes. Underscore, underscore she added, you've got to get through it. And you can't change it, so let's just one foot in front of another and get through it. Underscore, after an insanely long run on the much-loved sitcom Golden Girls in all these years, she's outlived her co-stars since the white wasn't ready to throw her entire career away, as so many others in Tinseltown are quick to do to trash Trump. She's always maintained a non-partial attitude towards every presidency before Trump's who she admitted was terrible, which wasn't a great thing to say, but she left her opinion at just that one word before making the bigger point of coming together and not complaining. Considering that White is at a place late in her life that she doesn't care who thinks what of her and whether they agree with her, she's got nothing to lose. The same doesn't go for young stars who are destroying their industry one anti-Trump comment at a time, and don't realize it or care. The proof is in the statistics below and they can only blame themselves. People just haven't been going to the movies this summer, at least, that's what the numbers are telling us. According to Comscore, via THR, both box office revenue and ticket sales declined this summer, hitting record lows, Paste magazine reports. Revenue is down nearly 16% this year, lower than the 14.6 decline in 2014. As the summer of 2017 wraps up, it will end up as the first summer since 2006 to not make $4 billion in the box office. Additionally, ticket sales have reached a 25-year low. It is time for stars to stop abusing their massive platforms for trashing the president and pushing an agenda. Why? 
at her age, should realize that and set a better example for young stars. Instead, SHE followed their lead and jumped on that bandwagon that set to crash and burn their industry to the ground. Thank you.